Open Heavens on the Go, Tuesday, May 7th, 2024. Topic, The Snare of the Fowler, Part 2. Memory Verse, 1 John 2.16 For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. Bible reading, James 1, 12 to 16. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. The message, shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? Isaiah 49, 24. According to the word of God, anyone who catches prey with a trap, like I described yesterday, can legally lay claim to it. There are lawful captives of the enemy. We have tried to cast demons out of people before and they will say, you are trespassing because this fellow belongs to us. They walked into our trap. For example, I once had a student who was on his way to his National Youth Service Call NYSC station when he fell sick. The doctor said he was allergic to rice. When they brought him to me, and as I was about to pray for him, the Lord said that he had to make restitution. It turned out his father stole a neighbor's bicycle to pay his school fees, and the owner placed a curse on the thief. His father died from an allergic reaction to rice, and now the son was on the same path. If that had not been revealed to me, we would have prayed in fertility because the boy was a lawful captive. I told him to buy a bicycle for the man's son because the man was late. Incidentally, when he returned after doing so, I was about to eat rice. He ate my rice finished it and nothing happened to him. Another boy was brought to me for prayers because he was barking. This boy had been having sex with their dog in the house. I prayed, but the barking did not stop. I advised the parents to keep bringing him for the Holy Ghost service every month and be hopeful that God will have mercy and deliver the lawful captive from his captor. When a fellow walks into the trap of the enemy after being lured by his or her lust, the devil can lawfully lay a claim on the fellow. In our Bible reading for today, Apostle James tells us clearly that God does not tempt anyone but rather, people are tempted by their own lusts, which result in sin and then death eventually. The bait the devil uses does not usually look like death. The bait has three major qualities to make it effective. It is usually attractive to the play, to the prey. It is pleasant to the praise test 
and it invokes the praise pride. I will discuss these qualities in detail in the following days because I believe God that after this study, you will never fall into the devil's trap. Key point, beware of the things you lost after. They are baits of the devil that will lead to death eventually. Bible reading in one year, 2 Chronicles 1-4. to Meme for today, guide me, O thou great Jehovah. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.